right, Black and White Network supporters. That's right, I'm still on the channel, but we've got four channels, and all four of them are getting over a million views a month. And, well, we've got to try to spread ourselves around. But, yes, that's right, I got a video, and guess what? It's about Brandon Johnson's Chicago. Now, it's going to be very interesting to see how the voting demographics break down in November are we actually going to see a large number of Chicago residents vote for President Trump? Uh, I am still extremely skeptical, regardless of how much perceived anger there is right now. Now, a lot of people are angry in Chicago. They're angry because illegal aliens have well butted into their own city's resources. The communities are being affected by illegal aliens that have taken over various community spaces. Measles, is, of all things, is now a thing across the country because of illegal aliens. Crime, violent crime, Lake and Riley, perfect example. Now, we've seen Chicago residents get angrier and angrier and back somebody they supported brandon johnson into a corner and now brandon johnson is about to enact and evict illegal aliens out of chicago that's right the sanctuary city yeah it doesn't look so uh sanctuary anymore again i hope people don't forget this when they go to the voting booth in november You've got to vote red, regardless of whether or not Brandon Johnson or some other Democrat puts a Band-Aid on these ridiculous policies. Shout out to Greg Abbott and Ron DeSantis for bussing those people up there to get the attention it deserved. Chicago is moving ahead with plans to evict illegal immigrants from shelters. How important is this? Elon Musk actually tweeted this out. Earlier, there is either a red wave this November or America is doomed. Imagine four more years of this getting worse. And he is talking about an illegal immigration crisis in New York and, of course, across America. The city of Chicago is moving ahead with plans to evict illegal immigrants from the city shelters beginning Sunday. That's right, tomorrow. And they plan to evict more than 2,000 illegal immigrants by the end of April. According to a report from NBC News published on Friday, the first 35 will face eviction on Sunday and nearly 250 will be evicted from city and state-run shelters before the end of March. A total of 2,026 are expected to be evicted before the end of April, city officials said. Chicago currently has more than 11,000 illegal immigrants spread across 23 shelters in and around the city, but a new policy limiting their stays in such shelter was supposed to take effect last November. Where are they going to go? I mean, Chicago's got a homeless crisis. And has for as long as, well, the leftists are been in office up there. What are they going to do then? Again, we're giving all this money and resources when we got veterans on the streets that can't, can't find a warm place to stay. It's appalling. After a number of delays due to extreme weather conditions, the policy is set to be implemented beginning on Sunday. Once illegal aliens have been evicted from shelters, they may find an alternative housing arrangement or they can go back to Chicago's, quote, landing zone. Landing zone? Where they go upon first arrival in the city and request to be reassigned to a shelter. So they're going to turn around and run them right back through the process? Oh, this sounds like a Democrat nightmare. Chicago Democratic Mayor Brandon Johnson noted that forced that some 4,500 who will be evicted under the new policy will qualify for extensions and be allowed to remain where they are some until June. I did look that up. It's things like if some of them are pregnant, question is, 
What if you're pregnant and you're like three months pregnant? So you got pregnant after you already came to the United States. Oh, I can see that coming a mile away. Can you not? Critics mocked Chicago's status as a sanctuary city, noting that eventually reality has set in. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. Reality. So whatever happened to sanctuary? <laughs> Sounds racist. <laughs> really good. Really good. Fun fact. The biggest measles outbreak in the United States this year is happening in a migrant shelter in Chicago. Just another win from our border collapse. And look, those residents were furious long, long before this measles outbreak took place. Their crimes started going up, but when inner city communities started having their resources taken away from them, places that they were used to going, used to being, where now they look up, flooded by illegal aliens, right? And that finally lit a fire under a lot of residents. A lot of Chicagoans have claimed that they are going to vote for Trump in the November election. I, I will tend to believe it when I see it. That has been a Democratic hellhole for so long. You know, I quit doing the crime, uh, the, uh, the, the uh, murder videos because, I mean, if you're just going to vote this over and over the same in local elections and state-run elections, what's the point? Nobody's getting the point, right? Uh, this is the one issue where it seems like it finally woke a lot of people up. And, yeah, it sparked more crime, etc. But you, you got other issues in Chicago. you got to address this. This has got to be addressed on a national scale. It's got to be addressed by Biden. Don't forget, this is a Biden problem. I can't believe I'm going to say this. It's not a Brandon Johnson problem. It's a Joe Biden problem. And Lord knows, Brandon Johnson's worth, worse than Lori Lightfoot, and that's saying a lot. But this all stems and comes from Joe Biden and his non-existent policies on the border. You know, again, just uphold federal law on, on the border and you're good. You don't have to pass new border bills or none of that. It's all already in place or just reenact everything that Trump put in, put in when he was in office. I mean, it's pretty easy. It's, it's not rocket science. Uh, I, I'm going to be interested to see if this is going to be some Democratic turnstile of illegal aliens that are just going to go through this process. We're going to evict them. They can go back to their, where they came from, but then they can apply to be reassigned again. What are you doing? That's just more resources making one big circle. Democrats burning money? Say it ain't so. Tell me what you think, black and white network supporters. Yeah, I'm still around. Peace, I'm out. Till next time.